Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. And on this video, I'd like to continue our discussion about functions and how they kind of relate to vending machines, okay? So I am gonna make one little tweak to our vending machine. Let's go ahead and add a fourth button. Let's say that grape soda is just very, very popular. And so they end up adding a fourth button because they need to have double the inventory for a grape soda, okay? So let's go ahead and run through another scenario about people at a vending machine and how this relates to what a function is. Okay, so let's say someone goes up to the vending machine and they wanna order a grape soda. So they hit the button number three and out pops a grape soda. Right now, we would say that this vending machine is functioning properly. It's labeled as three for grape. They hit the button for number three, they get out a grape. Now let's say another friend comes by and they hit button number one, out pops a cola, right? Totally okay, that's what we want, right? Number one went with cola, they hit button number one, out came a cola. Now say another friend comes by, they also want some cola, so they hit button number one, and they also get out a cola. So right now, everything is functioning perfectly. There is no issue, okay? So now let's say that another friend comes by, they wanna also get a grape soda, but this time, instead of hitting the button for number three, they hit the button for number four. Okay, maybe number three was sold out, so they hit the button for number four, and out pops a grape soda. Okay, so my question is, do you guys think that this machine is still functioning properly? Now the answer is yes. It still is functioning properly, because for every input that I have here, right, these are all my four inputs, for every input, I'm only getting one output. And you might be thinking, well, there's two outputs for grape and they have different inputs. And I thought that only one input could only have one output. And that's true, right? Every input has one and only one output. So I want you to think about this as, when I hit the button for number three, I get a grape soda. And when I hit the button for number four, I also get out a grape soda. Now, it is totally okay for you to have two different inputs that give you the same output. What's not okay is that you have one input and it gives you two different outputs. Okay, this is okay. We would say that this is a function. It is functioning properly because every input that I have gave me one and only one output, okay? The only time you end up not having a function is when you have an input that gives you two different outputs, okay? So let's modify this and see what, how could I make this not a function? Well, what if someone went back up to the vending machine, they hit button number three again, and out popped an orange soda. If we added this final row to the table, then we would have to change our statement down here because it would no longer be a function because now I don't know what soda I'm gonna get when I press the button for number three because when I did that, one time I got grape, and the other time I got orange. So I want us to be able to see that difference, okay? We've altered this problem, and now when I hit three, I either get grape or I get orange. And that's what makes it not a function. But it's okay initially if you have two different inputs giving you the same output. That's okay. All right, everyone. It's that math magician, and I'll see you next time.